Hey guys, welcome back to Life in Equilibrium. We're super excited to hit this video with you guys. And speaking of hitting, smash that like button, subscribe smash button, it. just destroy it. This is real, what really helps our channel grow. And in order for us to keep doing these videos and be, to be able to do fun things, please share this video. Like you said, like it, subscribe so that we're able to do more fun things. But let's jump right into it today. So today we're doing an investing 101 video. So we're really just gonna be breaking down what is investing, the kind of different types of investing, a little bit of investing terms, but super simple, super basic. So if you haven't heard a bunch about investing or you're starting, this is the video for you. So a lot of people hear investing and they think stocks exclusively. That's what we're gonna talk about today but we want you to realize you can invest in real estate, in businesses, you can even put your money in CDs. And Ethan, he even came up with this, invest in your time, yourself. Yeah, I recently read a book and it was Rich Dad's Guide to Investing. And one of the biggest things that he talked about was time is your biggest investment. So start off number one of investing your time into learning about investing, which is what you guys are doing right now, good job but invest your time in things that will build you and increase your net worth, for example, with your personal finances. So we know that most people want to be rich or wealthy, well off, um, and that's intimidating for a lot of people because they think they need to throw tons of money in the stock market. They think they have to have a fantastic job that makes a million dollars a year or even hey, five. You have to throw down dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> so we, it's intimidating and we really hope to make it simple. You don't have to start off huge. You don't have to start off throwing $1,000 a month into it. It could be as little as 1% of your income for that month. But we wanna make sure that you're growing that every single month, every single quarter even. Just make sure that it's always increasing. Yeah, and simple example is just like working out with your muscles. If you do the same thing over and over, nothing changes. So slowly increase what you're doing to be able to see those great changes in wealth. Number one thing, this is a marathon. This isn't a sprint, um, the topic of investing in personal finance. Yes, you'll hear stories of someone getting huge in one day by buying a bunch of stocks or selling something, but keep in mind, for the most part, it'll happen over a period of a few years. And that's what this is. It's a boring investing that will change your life. It'll change your life. And today we're talking about long-term investing, retirement planning, things like that. There is such thing as day trading or these get rich quick schemes. We wanna make it known to you guys that there's about 10% of the people who day trade or actively trade that actually make decent money. And there's 1% of those people who make a lot of money or a very good living off of that money. And that's awesome if you wanna do that. That's a little bit more advanced. Today we're gonna to talk about some of the fun, the simple, the interesting things about investing. So we're gonna start off with a few investing terms, um, different definitions that maybe are new lingo in the finance world. So the first one is a stock. What's a stock? That is the most basic thing. So a stock is basically a share of the company. Very simply put, you buy that stock, you buy a little bit of the company. You're a part owner. Yeah. If you own a vast majority of the stocks, you can go to shareholder meetings and you actually can take part in decisions that the company makes. But if you own one share of the stock, you're not getting invited to those meetings, I'm sorry. <laughs> the way stocks grow though, is if you buy a stock for $10, that company then takes that money that you've now put into them and you own part of them, they take that money to grow. And when the company grows, they become more valuable. And then that's their company overall becomes more valuable. Your little share in the company then grows in value. So $10 can then turn into $20. And that's how stocks gain value. And that's how you can make money off of stocks. Another way that you can gain money off of stocks is through dividends. Now what a dividend is, is it's when the company over the course of the year, they end up making excess of money. And what do they do with that money? They give it back to their shareholders. So varying companies offer a different amount of dividend percentages. And a good percentage is about two to 6%. If you go higher than that percentage of a dividend um, payout, a dividend yield, it could mean it could mean that the company's a little bit of a risky investment. If it's too low, you're not going to make that much money. And dividends, they pay out usually quarterly. They'll pay out, like Ethan said, two to five, two to six percent of that 
share price of your stock price your, if your stock is a hundred dollars and the dividend is five percent you'll get about five dollars back every quarter another big term that you may hear a bunch is compounding interest and that this is what makes you money but what is compound interest the eighth wonder of the world <laughs> says einstein so compound interest is very simply put interest upon your interest so your interest over the years grows and grows and grows every month you make a little bit more money and that money then ends up earning interest as well so over time this just grows like cr crazy amounts it's like way more than you even put in it just grows so fast that's why start young yeah if you start young it has a bigger chance of getting bigger because there's more years for that interest to compound on itself but if you feel like you haven't started early enough today is the perfect day to start start yeah. right now and that interest can start accruing the longer you wait the less money you'll be able to have yeah don't forget to check out our investing app video because that has a whole bunch of awesome apps that make it automatic and very simple for you to just start today you can start right now right after the pause the video start right now <laughs> go check it out <laughs> right now so another cool thing that you can buy is called a bond and i guess buy is the wrong word because really what it is is a loan to the company and just like a mortgage loan or a car loan you then pay monthly payments on it with interest so you loan to the company they then pay you back and it's usually every quarter the thing with bonds though is there's usually a commission fee and um, a trading fee so the commission fees usually 0.8 to 1.2 percent of the of the cost bonds are cool though because it's a pretty steady income that you can bank on and it doesn't fluctuate that much another interesting thing about bonds is just like your mortgage loan if you have a 30-year loan your interest rate tends to be higher if you have a shorter term loan your interest rates lower same thing with bonds if you have a long-term bond the interest rate will generally be a little bit higher short term lower cool thing about bonds too is you can buy and sell them they generally discourage buying and selling bonds because of the commission fee they're more of a long-term investment but that is something you can buy and sell because their price does change over time so similar to a stock there are two other things you can invest in one is a mutual fund and the other is an etf a mutual fund is a group of stocks all lumped into one um, like a bunch of eggs in one basket it's actively managed so someone will actually sit there and evaluate the stocks and how they're performing and buy and sell to be able to help you out and that's actively managed so it does cost a little bit more you have to pay for someone to manage this and because of that reason it is a little more old style not a lot of people are doing these mutual funds but it is nice that someone can actually sit there and do it for you yeah and they're very cool mutual funds you can buy mutual funds directed towards what you believe in so like with stocks if you believe in computers and things like that you can buy apple microsoft a lot of other technology based things with mutual funds you can still go out and buy themed funds you can buy things related to what you believe in and what you like so an etf is very similar to a mutual fund it's a big compilation of stocks and bonds and it's robo advice so it's passively advice there's not a human necessarily behind doing all the research the robo just kind of takes statistics and things like that and it usually does very well the cool thing about etfs is they generally only cost 0 0.03 to 2.5 percent um, and they just you just pay that every quarter and it's not like something that comes out of your bank account it's more something that just happens through your investments that you don't really see happen but you do need to be aware that that is there and you are paying a fee for someone to kind of manage all those accounts for you if that makes sense so quick story actually warren buffett a few years back he made a bet with someone a stockbroker who would actively manage a mutual fund and he bet that the s p 500 over a course of i believe it was five or ten years would outperform this person act actively managing his account and it was about a bet of like a million dollars like an insane amount that only warren buffett could do and he actually won the s p 500 or this etf that was passively managed beat out this actively managed person in his portfolio so well, if warren buffett advises it I think I would stick with it. And me personally, I do ETFs instead of mutual funds. And that's what I would recommend, but you should research it and figure out what would work for you. Some cool things, ETFs are, it's actually kind of a newer investment and it stands for exchange traded fund, which means it trades a lot like a stock does versus a mutual fund, which 
price closes at the end of the day, you buy it for that price at the end of the day. An ETF, you can buy and sell during the day, and a lot of times you can actually get a fraction if it costs $300, you could actually maybe put $50 into that and buy a fraction of that ETF. So many of you might be asking, what does investing cost? How much does it cost you? And what will the damage be? Jake? So like we kind of talked about expense ratios, which is just a, the amount of money you owe to the company for managing your ETF, your mutual fund, whatever that is. Yes, very simple. So another fee that you have is the commission fee. And what this is, is this is the fee that you get charged when you trade. So when you sell your stocks, you will get charged a small percentage of that profit as a fee. And the cool thing is a lot of these commission fees are going away. Robinhood is kind of the pioneer in this, just taking away a lot of these commission fees that make it almost free. And this is new. 10 years ago, I was looking at investing and it was going to cost me like 10% of what I would put in when I was much younger. Now it's zero dollars. There are only some of these expense ratios, which is really cool. It's made investing affordable for a lot more people. Which is one of the awesome things with Robinhood is it is a free investing account or a free investing app, I should say. There are some apps that do charge you a small subscription fee. I know Acorns has a few. Um, in our investing app, we talked about all of the subscription costs and different costs it will take to download these different apps which is why we recommend Robinhood or SoFi that have very minimal to zero um, cost for the subscription. What are the pros and cons to investing? The pro is it will make you money. Like we said, with compounding interest and the business is growing, you're gonna make money on this money that you invest. So if you start out and you're investing 10 bucks a month, you can end the year with $120, but that compounding interest and the business growing could change it to be Investing $120 that month, but winning or earning $30, giving you a grand total of $150. For doing nothing, might I say. Yeah, especially if it's automatic. Exactly. Just not spending that money on knives or guns or <laughs> whatever else. Or a little bit of sacrifice. <laughs> One of the cons to investing though is that money isn't as liquid. It's a little bit more volatile, so it can't necessarily be like a savings account that you can just rely on that that money will always be there and it's quick and easy to withdraw. It takes a little bit of time. Sometimes you owe taxes on the money that you make and the money might actually decrease at a certain point of time. Imagine, remember when coronavirus hit, it tanked. If you ex were expecting a thousand dollars, you might only get five, six hundred dollars back just because of how much it tanked. But the market does grow over time. It'll always go up. If you look at a chart, it always goes up. So never fear. And if you feel like you don't have enough money to invest, that's okay. Start now, start young, because it only grows and it just gets better. Exactly, it doesn't take a lot. Start a little bit, increase it by 1% every month, and then you'll be able to see the changes. The last thing a lot of people might be wondering is what if the stock market tanks? Is that a good time to buy stocks? And actually, you remember when you're looking at stocks and you're looking at the charts and you go, I wanna buy when it's low because it's cheap and then you look when it's super high and you're like, I don't want to buy that. Same thing with automatic investing. When the stock market crashes, you actually buy your stocks at a discounted price. So when it comes back up, those stocks then at the lower price jump right up in value. So it's actually a smart thing to buy stocks at a low value. It's exactly like shopping a sale. If you go out and you have a shirt that you really want, $50, the market tanks, the shirt is now on sale for $30. Same exact thing, but you get it for a discount. It's exactly so what- have no fear. Have no fear. <laughs> so guys, thanks so much for watching this video. We really enjoyed it. If this video gave you value, if you found value in it, remember, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That's different than subscribe because it notifies you when we put out a new video so that you can watch it and help support us. We're also excited to share it with you guys. Anyway, this was super fun to make and we hope you did find some value in it. And check out our other videos right here so that you can see more of our videos, gain more value, and smash that like button some more.